the people around Vegas know you, you're starting to create a name for yourself. Can you kind of tell me your history in boxing, how you first got into the sport? Um, it's crazy. Uh, I was I was a baseball guy, man. I yeah. was a baseball guy. That was my sport growing up. Boxing didn't come along until after high school, actually. So I'm a real. I started real late. Okay. But uh, um, it was basically just uh, I was going to school and working, and I was always the athletic type, you know. So I jumped in the gym because I always wanted to do it, yeah. and you know I felt like it, it was I was real natural at it, you know. So yeah. I just went with it and uh, started competing, and then you know I went 15 and all as an amateur. So I was like, that's what, around that time I was like, man, like you know I should really take this serious. So with yeah. the whole pro talks. The whole, you know, discussion of being turning pro came along. So, yeah. you know, we're we're eight and zero now. So, you know, it was a it was a good decision. And you know, I'm happy with it. Las Vegas native or where? I'm originally. I was born in Culiacan. Okay. I was. Raised in Cali, okay. but I'm representing Vegas. <laughs> okay. I've been here for the last nine years now. Okay. Stay inside What is your thoughts on kind of what it's, it's been like training in Vegas, just the whole people, you know, it's the fight capital, but you get to experience the real gym scene. What's it like training out here? Well, it, it's, it's, I can't, I mean, like, I can't really compare it, but like, you got everybody coming over here. You know, it's yeah. the fight capital of the world. You know, you got, you got all type of works, all these champions coming out here with the training camp. We got Robert Guerrero here right now. Mm. So that's, that's, that's the plus side of it. You know, you get to work with everybody. You get to see everybody's, you know, training habits and whatnot. But as far as that, you know, it's just, it's, I feel like it's the best. It's the best. How about your connection with your trainer, Danny Garcia? How long have you guys been working together? What's it like working with him? We, when I started boxing, I started out with um, some guy named Chapo Felix. And uh, within three months of training, that's when I was already, I just started fighting, three months of training. And uh, uh, Danny started holding the mitts for me, you know? And uh, it was just that for like, the, for like the first three fights. He was just a mid guy, but you know, one, one time me and my 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 trainer at the time got in a little discussion. So you know, I told Danny, hey Danny, you know, do you mind if you know we do this? The whole, you know, not only this, but you know, want to train me or whatever. So pretty much ever since then, and and to be honest with you, it's like it's, it was meant to be. You know, everything like he's my he's my homie, he's my brother. You know, yeah. it's everything to me. He's my trainer. He's just it's just a blessing. He's a blessing. Yeah.
how you train at a Johnny Tacos. Um, what were some of your best memories working there, you know? Um, like I said, just being able to, like, it's the oldest gym in Vegas. Yeah. So it got its history already, but just working with everybody, working with everybody, like, seeing everybody come in for camp, everything. I can't really have, I don't have one. Probably meeting Mike Tyson. Yeah. Meeting Mike Tyson, that's... I don't get starstruck easy, but when I met, met him, yeah. I was, wow, that's Mike, you know? Yeah. Undefeated. Um, what you know in Vegas, you have like great support. You, whenever you fight, you have a legion of followers and even like a band playing. Yeah. Where does your support come from? You know. Um, I want to say just all the people I met out here. You know, and like to be honest, I can't even answer that question, man. It's yeah. Just everybody shows me love. You know, and it's just it's it's just another blessing, man. You know. And Harder, you said getting fights now that you're starting to get a little more known. What, uh, what are your thoughts on that, and how hard is it kind of trying to get your next fight? I mean, to be honest with you, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just doing my part. You know, staying in shape, staying in the gym. You know, keep, I'm learning. So whenever I fight, I'm gonna fight. I just, uh, I, we're set for May 17th. So, uh, like, a, we just take one fight at a time. Okay. Um, Thank <laughs> you. 
living my crazy life. <laughs> no, I don't want you outside. I said no already. <laughs>